I'm speaking on behalf of, clearly I'm not Dan Cahill either, <laughs> and I'm not very prepared. Um, the baby in the picture, this is, is Vanessa, that was now 18, so I've known Eric for about 25 years. Yeah, he's been in and out of our lives. He, as you described, was a free spirit, loved his family, his friends, is so proud of Evanston, so proud of being from Rochester, um, all his travels, and you know, we could always count on him coming back and staying with us, and he was just always a part of our lives. I think um, when I first met Eric, he told everybody I looked like Apollonia. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but, and uh, Dan told him to back off. <laughs> I always loved how, you know, the Evanston um, family just always roasted each other. Dan would tell Eric he's um, a much, he's not as good of a dancer as he thought he was. <laughs> and, you know, of course he would tell Dan, Dan had no moves at all. Um, uh, you know, and just little funny things, he'd come and he'd cook for us and use every single pot in the house. <laughs> and every spoon, serving spoon, everything, and then it'd be like this small plate of food. <laughs> Eric really went to town. <laughs> um, and then, you know, he'd sleep with the TV on all the time. he would go down at three in the morning. Eric, Eric, you watch the TV? <laughs> and he crashed on the couch. Um, but there are not enough words to describe how much we will miss him at all our parties and all our get-togethers, and um, we were looking forward to him coming home for Christmas. He was just at our house um, last month or in September, and he's like, I'm planning on coming back, and he wanted to see all of his family. He loved you all so much, and he just had a heart of gold, and we will just miss him forever.